everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new here, my name is Emma, I make videos, I post every Sunday 8 o'clock, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should go down below and do that right now. Also, my Instagram name is in the description box below if you want to go check that out. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw the poll that I did earlier today about college. I was like, ask me anything about college, about the application process, about how to get in, uh, well not how to get in, of course I won't know those answers, but like, anything about the college application process or search process, anything like that, because I am a senior in high school and I have been going through all of these different trials about college, so I thought maybe I could answer some questions that you might have and also give you an update on where I am with my college search process. So by the t-shirt that I'm wearing, oh, would you look at that, High Point University. That's where I'm gonna go ahead and just start. So I have applied to four different colleges. I applied to High Point University in North Carolina, Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, and the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga. They're two different locations in case you were confused. I don't know why you would be, <laughs> it's very clear. But I have applied to those four colleges, and so far I've gotten into three of them, High Point, Belmont, and UTC, the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga. I haven't heard from UTK yet, but you know what? That's okay, not too worried about that. But those are the three that I've gotten accepted into so far. So I just thought that I would put that on the table so that you guys would have sort of a basis for this video to understand where I'm at right now. So one of the things that I thought that I would just say and put out there before this video really gets too much in depth about the college search process is that I wanted to let you guys know that your ACT score, while it does matter, yes, what you do in high school matters more to some colleges, which as it should. So if you're taking more of the harder classes, if you're taking the uh, like highest level of class that they're offering for like maths and science, or if you're doing dual enrollment, or if you're taking um, AP classes, then colleges are going to recognize that. They also wanna see if you've been taking any leadership positions like um, student council, or if you're the captain of a team, like a sports team, or if you're a part of any, in any clubs or anything like that. They're more interested in seeing like what you did while you were in high school and the grades that you made in high school than everything based on one test. Which I know that there's a lot wrapped around the ACT, like scholarships and acceptance rates and things with that, but there are colleges out there who don't care about your ACT score, or at least not as much as some other colleges. So while yes, it matters, there are other things that also matter just as much to some colleges. One of the first questions that comes into my mind when I think about college is a major. People make majors such a big deal and they really don't have to be in my opinion, but I understand for a lot of people when you're going into college, you want to know sort of where you're going, what direction you're heading, and kind of, you know, the classes that you're gonna take and what you're really gonna be learning. So of course, that's where your major comes in. What you usually hear people say is pick something you like, which is good. And the problem with that for me was that I like a lot of things. I like business, I like YouTube, I like theater, I like writing, I like English. There's kind of like a world of things that I like, but I couldn't really pick a major that would encompass all of that. But something that I heard one time was this woman, she was at this workshop that I went to, she said, you never really know if you like something until you miss it. Boom, think about it. So of course I like business, of course I like reading and writing, but I don't really ever miss those things. There's only one thing in my life that I have continuously, consistently missed when I'm not doing it, which is theater. So, nice little segue. What my intended major is right now is theater. Uh, specifically, I like musical theater, but I feel like a musical theater degree could potentially lower my chances of an opportunity for other things in theater if I decide that musical theater isn't what I want to do. So if I decide to go into something like directing, then I'll have a more broader scope of what I can do and what I've learned if I just go in with a theater degree. Of course, I don't really know what the future holds, so I don't necessarily know what I'm going to do after college, but I know that I like theater right now, and that's what I want to do for the time being. And if I end up changing my major or adding another major, whether that's English or business or entrepreneurship or something like that, who knows, we shall see as time goes on. But right now I think, keyword think, that my intended major right now is just theater, broadly. There are a lot of things that are really scary about the college process and finding out what school you're gonna go to or what school you even want to go to. And a lot of that circles around money, which I know is a really big, big deal. So one of the things that I noticed was I was very, well, I was very confused about what the difference between a Pell Grant was, a scholarship, uh, loans, all of those things just kind of fell into one pile of money that you get for college. 
but little did I know that there was actually a really big difference between all those things. So I've got a list that I've made on my phone about the differences between all of these things. So a Pell Grant is money that would be given to you with no strings attached. Basically, if you fill out certain criteria for something, they give you the money and it's yours for the keeping. It has to go to college though. Financial aid can be given by the school or the government. Basically, it's just help because of you fill out certain criteria that they need. So if you or your parents don't make a certain amount of money a year, then the school will give you a certain amount of financial aid for your schooling. So a loan is money that's available for you to use for college, but it has to be paid back. It can be a loan from the school or an outside organization or the bank or people, I guess, if you've got really rich friends, I don't know. But a loan is something that you have to pay back. That's why we hear a lot about student loans and how scary they are. Hello, sorry, my camera just died, so I had to fix that. So if the frame shifted a little bit, I'm really sorry. So a scholarship is something that can be given to you because you, you know, filled out a scholarship essay for the college that you're going to or an essay for like some sort of an outside program. So there's usually like company scholarships that do different things like if you work somewhere or even if you don't work, um, but you find out like I know, okay, this is a good example. Toyota is doing the scholarship um, about safe driving. So if you like go onto their website, they have a whole program about what the criteria of the video is and you make a video showing why texting and driving isn't safe and you submit it to them and if you end up being one of the three winners I think it is and you get a certain amount of money for scholarships for college. So that's a prime example. If you're looking into scholarships, look into the ones that are available at the school that you want to go to or potentially want to go to or you can just look up scholarships on the internet and there are thousands and thousands of scholarships given out all the time by different companies or foundations or different programs, different things like that. They, they're available, they're out there, you just have to go find them. So another question that I got was, what's the difference between a college and a university? Super simple actually. So a college is just somewhere that uh, offers undergraduate degrees and then a university is somewhere that offers both undergraduate and graduate degrees. Basically it's just like how many years of schooling and the intensity of the schooling, basically. Clearly, I'm not a professional in any of these subjects. I'm just telling you guys about what I've experienced and what I've learned along my short little college journey so far. I'm not even in college yet, oh my gosh, yeah. I have to graduate still. I am a senior in high school and I'm just, you know, sharing what I've learned so far. I hope that this was helpful to you. If you're someone like me or at this similar stage in life that I am, then, you know, like this video, comment down below any more questions you have or just say hey and be like, Hi, I am also a senior in high school and I'm also trying to figure out where I want to go to college. Hey, what's up? If you like this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, like I said before, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should definitely go check that out. Follow me on the rest of my high school slash potentially college journey. Who knows what the future holds? And I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye!